Hello, it's February and the van has decided to be a cock again. I estimate it's going to cost a tremendous amount of money. Fuck you van! Uh, which has put pay to my plans for using a proper studio to do the next album. So it turns out the album is going to be recorded in here um, for free. Man. I think I've managed to sort out the sound deadening problem and the annoying the neighbours problem. Check out this, my genius contraption. Alright, I think you'll find there's two speaker stands and a duvet with some sellotape. The foam pieces are taken from the uh, bed in the camper van and that, I think you'll find, and a half bad vocal booth. Recording takes a short break while the dog plays with his squeaky toy. <laughs> Hello, day two in the studio. Uh, day three in the studio. Studio. Um, and I have acquired um, from the very lovely Hannah uh, Gilbert a drum kit of sorts. Um, this is what I shall be using to record the kick drum sounds. I have actually got a real uh, snare drum for the snare, um, but a lot of the uh, stuff is going to have to be triggered and sampled because I don't have a real studio. Oh! Hi there, you find me in the studio, day four. Uh, today has been, uh, I've got like two songs done mostly, apart from vocals, and I've been doing a lot of this. Albert and Stroud, they got my name right this time. Uh, day six in the uh, studio was um, was incredibly frustrating. Uh, I spent four hours recording something and then to realise that I'd recorded it wrong. Shut up! As you can see, Ruben is upset about this as well. The casualties of this problem uh, are my hand, as you can see I've cut it uh, on my guitar where I punched it. Currently inside the vocal booth, uh, about to do uh, the vocals for a song all about drinking. And seeing as the album is called Tell It To The Beer, it would seem rude to not be partially under the influence whilst recording it. Uh, I haven't got any beer so we'll have to settle for cider. Um, day something in the studio. There's a bit of a write-off due to a booze last night at the Bank Tavern. Just on my way to Freeman Folk Festival. I think it's the first festival of the year for me. Um, do you want to see what backstage at Freeman Folk Festival looks like? That was nice. Froom Folk Festival, good crowd, sold quite a few CDs and uh, got paid, which is something I was not expecting. And I've just been backstage and I've just met the whole of the uh, who's who of the folk world and seen some Morris, which is always nice. Editing, 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 editing. Uh, day, I don't know what day it is of recording. I think I've finished the recording now, apart from possibly a violin solo that I need to get my mate Ben to do. 
So I've spent the last few days mixing and editing the whole thing. Funny thing is, whilst I've been recording this album, I've realised that whilst I knew that a lot of it, a lot of the songs were about drinking and alcohol and my relationship with that, um, I've realised that that I drink far too much. So uh, um, I decided to knock it on the head. So uh, um, goodbye, booze. It's finished. Album is finished, uh, with the exception of the aforementioned violins. Uh, mixing done, radio edits done, uh, then just got to get it mastered and, and release the fucker. That was February. March next. <laughs>